For more updates on the Kuje prison attack, our correspondent Emeka Amako is on standby. Thank you very much, Emeka, for joining us once again. Now, it appears that more inmates have been rearrested. Can you tell us more about that? Yes, Shade. Um, as at the time, we were right there at um, the scene of the attack. We can uh, authoritatively tell you that um, about 443 uh, uh, did escape from the facility following the inversion. Um, but as at the time we left, we had it on good authority from the reliable sources that a good number of them had been arrested. The manhunt is still ongoing and we are witnesses to the, uh, the proceeds, if I may use that word, of the re-arrest uh, efforts of uh, the security agencies. So at the moment, over 500 inmates are right there at the facility. So the, the, the manhunt is still ongoing and with the efforts so far, we can tell you that more will be uh, actually recaptured and brought back to the facility. Now, President Buhari, along with some government officials, have visited the scene of the incident. What was the general ambience uh, at the scene? Yeah, following the presence of Mr. President and his entourage, which actually was composed of uh, the likes of uh, um, Mr. Gambari himself, and uh, even Boss Mustafa, who is the Secretary, to, or Secretary of the uh, uh, the, the SGF, Secretary to the Government of the Federation, he was actually there in person. And it, it was one of confidence, it actually instilled confidence in the security agencies that if Mr. President of all persons could be here for an on-the-spot assessment, it's, it goes a long way to show that the fight against terrorism and every other form of criminality would soon come to an end. Although when Mr. President did come, there was no comment. He, he, he couldn't address the press. But a good look at his men and his continent shows that he was actually in shock. And I can tell you that his speechlessness has a whole lot to show that he is actually going to do much more to get insecurity in the country out of this way. Oh, thank you very much. TV360 correspondent Emeka Amako for joining us.